What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Joseph, and welcome to Fictioning Flow. You see the scissors. You already know what time it is. Oh, boy, here we go again. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, sorry. I can't listen to another one either. Okay, okay, I know. Don't leave. Just hold on. Wait, I got something for you. So, um, we're doing the Marvel Collector's Core unboxing. I got this box about a week ago, but I've kind of been sick and you make it hear a little bit of it in my voice. So, I've kind of been waiting to do this full unboxing with you all. But, this is the Marvel's Collector's Core box for February with this Spider-Man Blue. Let me grab that for you. Alright, and here it is. Spider-Man Blue. So for those who are unfamiliar with the series, Spider-Man Blue is a series that was created by Jeff Lowe and a couple of other people. So Spider-Man Blue deals with the past. It's about Spider-Man's first love, Gwen Stacy, and his loss of her, hence his whole blue period. It's also about meeting Mary Jane and kind of like getting over her, but still holding on to that. Um, there's also been several others in this series. I talked about them before. There was Hulk Gray, so like the original Hulk and what kind of went on with him. We had uh, Captain America White, and we had Daredevil Yellow. So all these series were like past stories, but they were really drawing this really cool art style. And they just focused on previous um, encounters with their special people in that time period. So let's go ahead and get this unboxing started. As you know, each box contains five items, usually a shirt, a pen, a decal, and usually two pops. So I'm eager to see what they are because I, like I said, I've been sitting on this box for about a week now, and I really want to jump in. So let's go right to it. All right. Before I crack it open, tell me, what do you expect to see? I know in a previous unboxing video, I talked about it'd be really cool if the Spider-Man pop they had in here was actually blue to kind of fit that whole blue period, and that's what I'm hoping for. But let's jump in. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think is in the box and if the stuff is worthwhile. First thing is a t-shirt. Okay, that's the first thing I see right on top. And I think it's a worthwhile one. You know, I always gotta check it out first before you do. But it looks pretty good. It's still a black one. I don't mind it, but I would like to see some other colors come about eventually. So, let's see. Oh, uh, this is a perfect one. And it sets off well with that black. So, check this out. It is a like a role gallery of some of Spider-Man's characters and friends. So we got Mary Jane, Gwen Stacy, Doc Ock, Rhino. Uh, we also have uh, the Lizard, Green Goblin, Vulture, and Craven the Hunter. Kind of like the Sinister Six. So this is a dope shirt. I like it a lot. I'm loving the color scheme against the black. So this is a really cool shirt. Um, a 10 for 10 out of me. A 10 for 10 with this one. So I definitely hit. Can't deny that shirt, that's a good one. They did a good job on the shirt. So, first item in the box, it's a perfect score for me. I love it, no complaints at all. Okay, keep that going. All right, item one, perfect one. All right, let's go ahead with the second item in the box. The second item is a pen, and it's a pen of the Daily Bugle, I like this. It's a nice, big, fat pen. It's not a Funko head this time, which is usually what they do. So this is a pen to take out the wrapper of the Daily Press. It's almost like a press pad, which I kind of like. Like you can wear it on this shirt or wear it or something like, oh yeah, I can come on in. But a definite hit for me. All right with the little camera on it, Daily Brugal Press, got the scan bar. <coughs> it's a definite winner for me. So once again, another item, perfect match. All right, so far so good, so far so good. You know what's coming next, the thing I like the least, which is the decal. Sometimes they've been okay, but let's see what this one looks like. I'm not, I'm not too hopeful for it. All right, this decal is actually pretty cool. So it is Mary Jane giving her quote, like face it tiger. It's only part of the quote, because usually it's face it tiger, you just hit the jackpot when they first went out on the date. So it's just a little part of it, but I like it, it's different. And this is a nice match, I would have to say. So far, so good. They really stepped up with this box, I would say. So we got the shirt, the pin, the decal, all perfect items. So the only thing left is the Funko Pops. And of course, they did you too. They've been keeping this going, and I want them to continue this, giving two really good pops. All right, you all ready for the next item? The first pop? Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. First pop I see 
is that of Gwen Stacy? Okay, let me check that out for y'all. Bam. Okay, I love this pop. It is cool. It has that whole blue style from the comic. And I love that there's a little bit of red. It looks like Gwen Stacy's holding like a box of chocolates. And that is so perfect. This is a really dope pop to kind of really go along with the comic with the Spider-Man blue. It gets no better than that. I'm going to cherish this one. That's a good one. All right. So fourth item, Funko Pop, Gwen Stacy in her date outfit, I would say. It's a winner. All right. The last item in the box, the last pop. And another winner, another winner. Look at this Spider-Man, y'all. Tell me that's not a dope pose. I've never seen him pose like that. He's just standing and he has a red rose in his hand getting ready to go on his date. This is dope. So, Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy getting ready to go on their date. This is a perfect match for the final. They stepped up for the Spider-Man blue box. I, I'm telling you, they did a perfect job with this box. So, Funko, continue to do this. Listen to me. Keep doing boxes like this. This is what the fans want. This is what everybody needs. These are great items you put into this box. I can't say I haven't had a good box like this in quite a while. So, keep up the good work. All right, let's go over all the items again. Just kind of give you a quick down. We have the shirt with everyone on it. Okay. See. All right, perfect. We have the press pass for the baby blue. We have the decal showing Mary Jane the future love of his life. We have Winnie Stacy ready for her day, and Spider Man ready for his day. All right, perfect box. I say I, I will give this one a five out of five. So, they always give you a little card, tell you like what's in the box and tell you what's coming. So, as some of you may know, especially if you have this plus, you've seen the Falcon and Winter Soldier Man like series. In that series, you see um, the Falcon actually becoming the new Captain America. So there's a new movie coming out called Captain America Brand New World. And that is the box coming next week. I cannot wait for this box. I want to see this. I want a dope shirt. I want two good pops. I don't know who they can reveal. Because of course we're going to get a Captain America pop. But who else? Because nobody knows who's the villain in the movie. What's going on. But they got to come up with something different for this box. So make sure you don't mess it up. Make sure it's good. Alright. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, drop a comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And new content drops just like this. Don't have it, you are truly missing. It should be slow. What's up? We are talking about it should be slow. What's up? If you don't have it, you are truly missing. It should be slow.